Mongoose Tutoring Services Video Classes. This topic is called Even Spacing of Objects. The objects may include things like fence posts, flags, lamp posts, street lights, trees, and many other objects. In this video, we will focus on those objects which are laid out or arrayed in such a way that the first object is not the same as the last object, as in the case of a perimeter. Or in other words, the start point is not the same as the end point. One example is lampposts or street lights laid out in a street or streets, but not in a perimeter. Another example is when objects are placed in a straight line, such as fence posts placed along only one side of a yard, or palm trees lining the shore of a beach. Example 1. You can now write down question 1. I will give you two minutes to make an attempt if you can. Again, a reminder that this is a question where the objects are in a straight line. Four poles are placed along a straight road 120 meters long. The poles are evenly spaced. Part A. How many spaces are there between the poles? And part B. What is the distance between the first and second pole? So because the numbers are small, we can make a quick sketch which will help us with understanding and solving. We are told that there are one, two, three, four poles which span a length of 120 meters. And for the four poles, there are one, two, three spaces. Now notice for objects in a straight line or where the ends do not meet, there will be one more object more than the spaces or in other words one space less than the objects so part a asks us how many spaces are there between the poles so i already illustrated to you that there are three spaces however there's a formula that says the number of spaces is equal to the number of objects take away one so the number of objects is four four take away one is three and part B asks us, what is the distance between the first and the second pole? So once it's two consecutive objects and we are finding the distance between them, then we are finding what is called the spacing. So the spacing, which again is the length of one space, is simply the total length of all the spaces divided by the number of spaces. 
So the total length, which is the distance from the first pole to the last pole, is 120 meters, which was given. And the number of spaces which we worked out is 3. So we divide 120 by 3. And we get 3 into 12 is 4, so that's 40 meters. I will now give you 3 minutes to make any corrections that you need to make. The answer is given here. Example 2. Again, objects in a straight line. Palm trees are planted along a street that is 30 meters long. They are placed every 6 meters. How many trees were used? So they are telling us that the palm trees are placed every 6 meters. Some other ways that they term this or phrase this is by saying they are evenly placed or evenly spaced or the distance between them are. So again, I've kept the numbers small in this example so that we can make a quick sketch to illustrate the question and the solution. So I will draw in some palm trees, not the correct amount, and we will put the spacing as 6 meters. They 
told us that the total length is 30 meters. So the formula for the number of spaces is number of spaces is equal to the total length, which is 30 meters, divided by the spacing, which is 6 meters. 30 divided by 6 is 5, so the spacing is 5 meters. In order for us to determine the amount of trees, similar to the previous example, the number of objects would be one more than the number of spaces. So since we got 5 spaces, the number of trees would be 5 plus 1, which is 6. Your answer is 6 trees. Example 3. Again, this is a question where the objects are in a straight line or where the first and the last object do not meet or it's not the same. There are seven street lights placed from the start to the end of the road. They are evenly placed eight meters apart. How long is the road? So this is simple. The length of the road is simply the sum of all the spaces between the street lights. So let's work it out using the correct formulas. The numbers are small so we can make a quick sketch which would help us to solve the question. So there are seven street lights and the spacing is eight meters. So we firstly need to determine the number of spaces. So remember, for objects in a straight line or those in a line that is open-ended, the number of spaces is equal to the number of objects minus one. So they told us that the number of street lights is seven so 7 minus 1 is equal to 6, so there are 6 spaces. So the total distance between the first and the last street light is equal to the spacing by the number of spaces. The spacing is 8 meters and there are 6 spaces, so 8 multiplied by 6, that's 48 meters. That's your answer.
practice test questions. So remember, these questions are such that the length is an open end, such as a straight line. It is not a perimeter. Number one, a street has 36 lamp poles. The poles were placed five meters apart from beginning to end. What was the length of the street? So keep in mind, the total length of the street is simply the sum of all the spaces between the lamp poles. So the first step is to find the amount of spaces. And remember the formula tells us that the number of spaces is the number of objects minus 1. So given that there are 36 lamp poles, 36 take away 1 is 35. So there are 35 spaces. The total length of the street is the number of spaces by the length of one space. The length of one space is called the spacing. So that's 35 by the spacing, which is 5. So 35 by 5. 5 fives are 25. So we put the 5 in, carry across the 2. So 3 fives are 15, plus 2 is 17. So that's 175 meters. That's your answer.
Number two, poles are placed along a street 136 meters long. The poles are placed four meters apart. How many poles were used? So notice, if we can determine the amount of spaces, then we can determine the amount of poles and vice versa. If we know the amount of poles, then we can determine the amount of spaces. And this applies for any question. The number of spaces is equal to the total length, which they gave us to be 136, divided by the spacing, which was also given to be 4 meters. So that's 136 divided by 4. 4 into 13 is 3, remainder 1. And 4 into 16 is 4. So that's 34 spaces. And the number of poles is equal to the number of spaces plus 1. So 34 plus 1 is 35. So that's 35 poles. Number three, a flower plant is placed between every light pole on a street from the start to the end. The distance between each light pole is five meters. If there are 13 flower plants, how long is the street? So we are seeing that the flower plants are placed between the light poles or in the spaces between the light poles. 
So therefore, the number of flower plants, 13, will be equal to the amount of spaces. So we just determined that the amount of spaces is 13, and we are given that the spacing is 5 meters. The formula tells us that the total length is equal to the number of spaces multiplied by the spacing. So that's 13 by 5. 13 times 5 is 65. So the total length is 65 meters.
Number four, Vida lives on a street that is 300 meters long. Light poles are placed from the start of the street to the end. The light poles are evenly spaced 15 meters apart. If Vida lives at the 13th light pole, how far from the start of the street does he live? Okay, so we know the formula that the number of spaces is equal to the number of poles minus 1. So since we are talking about 13 light poles, then the number of spaces would be 13 minus 1, which is equal to 12. So we simply need to find the sum of the 12 spaces. So that will be 12 multiplied by the spacing. So that's 12 spaces and the spacing which they gave us is 15 meters. So the total distance from the start of the street to Vidal's home would be 15 meters for the spacing multiplied by 12 spaces. So starting with the ones number first, two fives are 10, put the zero, carry across the one, one two is two, plus one is three. Next, the tens number, the one, we put a zero to start, one five is five, and one one is one. So 30 plus 150 is 180 meters. So the distance from the start of the street to Vidal's home is 180 meters.
Number 5. Light poles along a straight road are 15 meters apart. What is the distance between the first and sixth light pole? So in going from the first to the sixth light pole, that will be 6 poles. And remember, the number of spaces is equal to the number of poles minus 1. So that's 6 minus 1 is 5. Now the distance is simply the sum of the spaces or using the formula it's equal to the spacing which we were given to be 15 meters multiplied by the number of spaces which we found to be 5. So 15 by 5 we'll get 75 meters. That's the answer for part A. Part B the entire length of the road is 330 meters long with light poles 15 meters apart. How many light poles were used along the straight road? So remember, the total number of spaces is equal to the total length divided by the spacing. We were given the total length to be 330 meters and the spacing to be 15 meters. So 330 divided by 15, 15 into 15, 1, 15 into 33 is 2, remainder 3, carry over the 3, 15 into 30 is 2, so that's 22 spaces. And the number of poles is the number of spaces plus 1. So that's 22 plus 1, so the answer is 23 poles.
Number 6. 16 trees are planted in a straight row at equal distances from each other. The distance between the fourth and the eleventh tree is 17.5 meters. What is the distance between the first and the last tree? They told us that the distance between the fourth and the eleventh tree is 17.5 meters. So we will make a quick sketch to illustrate this. We will draw from the fourth to the eleventh tree and count how many spaces there are. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. So seven spaces spans a length of 17.5 meters as we were given. So we must determine the length of one space or that is also called a spacing. So 7 into 17.5, 7 into 17 is 2, remainder 3, 7 into 35 is 5. So the spacing is 2.5 meters. We are required to find the distance between the first and the last tree, or in other words, the total length of all the spaces from the first to the last tree. So we know that there are 16 trees, so the spaces would be the number of trees minus 1. 16 minus 1 is 15. So the total length of the distance would be 15, the spaces, multiplied by the length of the space or the spacing, which is 2.5. So 15 multiplied by 2.5. So 5 by 5 is 25. Keep the 5, carry across the 2. 1, 5 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Multiplying by the tens number now, we put a zero. Two fives are ten, keep the zero, carry across the one. One two is two, plus one is three. So that's seventy-five plus three hundred. So that's three hundred and seventy-five. Since we have a total of one decimal place, we need to put one decimal place from the right in the answer. So the answer is thirty-seven point five meters. Objects evenly spaced in a perimeter. These are a little different to the ones spaced in an open-ended length, such as a straight line. The only difference in calculation is that the number of spaces is now equal to the number of objects. So let's do a quick example. Here we have a square field. We are going to put poles that are evenly spaced around the field. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 spaces and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 poles.
So it's clear that the number of spaces 8 is equal to the number of poles 8. Example 1. Cones are placed around the rectangular field. They are evenly spaced. The field is 100 meters by 50 meters. Starting from one corner, the cones are evenly spaced 10 meters apart. Part A. What is the perimeter of the field? And Part B. How many cones are used? So it's good for us to note that the field being 100 meters by 50 meters means that the length is 100 meters and the width is 50 meters. And the second thing we should note is that some questions may not give you this first part or this hint where we must first find the perimeter. We may only be given part B, how many cones are used. We will now find the perimeter of the field. So here is a quick illustration. We know that we have the length given to be 100 meters and the width to be 50 meters. So the perimeter will be 100 meters plus 100 meters plus 50 meters plus 50 meters. When we add this up, we will get 300 meters. For part A, the perimeter is 300 meters. Part B, how many cones are used? So remember, for objects around the perimeter, the number of spaces is equal to the number of objects, such as the cones. The formula for the spaces or the objects is equal to the length, which in this case is a perimeter. So it's a perimeter divided by the spacing. They gave us the spacing to be 10 meters. 300 meters divided by 10 meters we can cancel 1 and 0 on top with 1 and 0 below. So that's 30 over 1, which is equal to 30 cones.
Example 2. Flags are evenly spaced around a square track. The length of one side of the track is 110 meters. If there are 22 flags around the field, what is the distance between the first and the second flag? So the spacing is the distance between any two adjacent or consecutive objects. So the distance between the first and the second flag is the spacing. For us to find the spacing, we must firstly find the perimeter. So let's make a quick sketch. So we were given that the length of one side of the square is 110 meters. So the perimeter of a square is equal to side times 4, so that's 110 times 4, 4 11s of 44, and we put back the 0, so that's 440 meters. So the spacing is equal to the perimeter divided by the amount of spaces or the amount of objects. So that's 440 meters, which we solved, divided by the amount of flags, which is equal to the amount of spaces. So that's 440 divided by 22. 22 into 22 is 1, and 22 into 44 is 2. So the spacing is 20 meters.
Question 1. Markers are to be evenly placed around the rectangular field 225 meters by 120 meters. So 225 is the length and 120 is the width. If the markers are to be evenly spaced at 15 meters, so 15 meters is the spacing, how many markers are needed? So I will make a quick sketch. So the perimeter will be 225 plus 225 plus 120 plus 120. So 5 plus 5 is 10. Two, four, six, eight, plus 1. That's 9. 2, 4, 5, 6. So that's 690 meters for the perimeter. And remember the formula. The objects, in this case the markers, is equal to the perimeter of the rectangle divided by the spacing. So the perimeter is 690 as we found it to be divided by the spacing which was given to be 15. 15 into 15 is 1. 15 into 69 is 4. Remainder 9. 15 into 90 is 6. So the markers are 46 markers. Question 2. A rectangular field 300 meters by 100 meters has poles spaced evenly around its perimeter. If there are 32 poles, what is the spacing between the poles? So we will make a quick sketch. Three hundred meters is the length and 100 meters is the width. So the perimeter which we must first find would be 300 plus 300 plus 100 plus 100. 
So that's 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So that's 800 meters. So remember that the spacing is equal to the perimeter divided by the number of spaces. So that's 800 divided by 32. 8 into 32 is 4. 8 into 8 is 10. Put back the 0. 4 into 4 is 1. 4 into 100 is 25. So the spacing is 25 meters. Question 3. Orange cones are evenly spaced around the circumference of a circular field. The circumference of the field is 400 meters. Red cones are placed between the orange cones. If there are 10 orange cones, what is the distance between an orange cone and an adjacent red cone? So let us make a quick sketch. So here we have the circular field. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 orange cones and between them we have the red cones 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 There are spaces between the orange cones and for objects in a perimeter, we know that the number of objects is equal to the number of spaces. So since the red cones are in the spaces, the red cones will be equal to the orange cones, both of them being 10. The question requires that we find the spacing between the red and the orange cones. So we need to find the total amount of spaces. We can easily find that by finding the total amount of cones. We know that there are 10 orange cones and 10 red cones. 10 plus 10 is 20. So there are 20 cones and hence 20 spaces. We were given the perimeter to be 400 meters and we found the spaces to be 20. So the spacing is 400 divided by 20 
cancel 1 and 0 on top with 1 and 0 below 2 into 2 1 2 into 40 is 20 so the spacing is 20 meters question 4 a regular polygon shaped yard has a perimeter of 96 meters there are street lights on the corners of the yard the length of one side of the yard is 12 meters how many sides does the yard have so we can understand that the yard is in the shape of a regular polygon but we are not sure which polygon just yet we are given that the perimeter is 96 meters and the length of one side of the yard is 12 meters or in other words the spacing from one street light to the other is 12 meters we are required to find how many sides does a yard have or in other words the number of spaces between the street lights so let's begin the number of spaces is equal to the perimeter which was given to be 96 meters divided by the spacing which is given to be 12 meters so the spaces or the number of sides is equal to 96 divided by 12 12 into 12 1 12 into 96 is equal to 8 so that's 8 sides so an 8 sided polygon is called an octagon we know that there are street lights on the corners of the octagonal yard so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 corners or 8 street lights and there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 spaces between the street lights so I told you all that the number of sides is also equal to the number of spaces so that's one side two three four five six seven eight sides so the number of sides is also equal to the number of spaces thank you for watching if you have found this video to be helpful please feel free to contact us for more information about our classes